How did Judas die? Tell me, how did Judas die? Judas, the one that betrayed you, Yes. Guts burst out. Excellent. Excellent. Acts, Acts 1, 18. Okay. Now this man, so we're talking about Judas, purchased the field with the reward of iniquity, falling headlong. So falling headlong, he burst his there in the midst, and his bowels gushed out. Okay. So he purchased the field with that money, and he fell down, and his guts came out. If we go to in Matthew, okay, in Matthew 27, okay, um, verse 5. Uh, and he cast down the pieces of silver. So he didn't buy a field with a piece of silver in this, in this account, in the temple, and departed, and he went and hanged himself. So either he purchased the field with that money and fell down and his intestines came out, or he threw down the, the piece of silver and he hung himself. Now, this is a contradiction within the Bible about the account of how Judas died. It's not a contradiction. It's a description of the events from two different perspectives. So let's address the first objection that in Matthew's account, the Sanhedrin bought the land, and in Luke's, Judas purchased the land. The Bible will often attribute the actions of a person or a group to the individual that caused or allowed this action or event to occur. Plus, the priests who considered the silver to be blood money would have made the purchase under Judas, as they wanted no part in this, and it would have been a way to cover up their involvement in it. So, in short, Peter in Luke's account is attributing all of the above to Judas. This is common biblical language. But this is what happens when ignorant, uneducated laymen like this Muslim attempt to do exit Jesus of the Bible. Now, to address the second objection, by tradition, Judas hung himself on Friday evening, which is the start of the Sabbath, and on Sabbath, no work can be done. So Judas would have hung there untouched at least until Saturday night. On top of that, in Halacha or Jewish law, it is considered ritually impure to touch a dead body. There are specific rituals and guidelines to ensure proper handling of the disease, which are performed by select individuals known as Hevra Kadisha. So Judas's body hanging there for who knows how long would have begun to decay and bloat. Then the rope or the branch of the tree would have broken, causing his body to fall and burst open. Note that Luke does not write that Judas Judas died from the fall, only that his body fell. He presumes the hanging, as someone simply falling in a field does not result in the body bursting open. Only decomposition and falling from a height would cause the body to burst open. So Matthew details the cause of Judas's death, while Luke emphasizes the aftermath. 